Hi, I'm here with Brett McKean, who's coming off a special weekend at the Classic at Dandenong with his under-12 girls team. Brett, tell us what you've achieved. Uh, we managed to come away with a bronze medal, um, which was a fantastic effort given the, the level and where the kids had come from last season. We had um, one girl who hadn't played rep. She was a domestic player as well on this team, so it was a really good achievement by the group. So one player hadn't played rep. What what team were the majority of these girls playing in last season? We had two from BC last year, it was bottom age, two from BJBL1, and the other five were BJBL2. So, it's a fairly big mix. A lot of new players coming together. Mm. What did you have to do to actually qualify for the Classic? We had to finish top four in BC for our pool, which we managed to finish third. Um, and the only two teams we lost to were the two teams that ended up playing the gold medal game which were Knox and Hawthorne, so um, it was disappointing not to get there, but um, the girls played really well all weekend and um, did the club proud. So, obviously a real credit to yourself and to the girls that such a new group could come together so quickly to qualify for the Classic and then go on um, and get to bronze medal. That's quite an achievement, isn't it? Yeah, they've done a really fantastic job. They um, Early on, even in tryouts and um, our first couple of training sessions, they were really switched on. They're a smart group. They picked up everything really quickly. Um, we probably struggled defensively early on. Um, a lot of them didn't know how to rotate and cover players probably, and they've really done a good job at getting better at that during the course of the first nine rounds of DC and obviously into the Classic. So. And this is your first appointment um, of a first team here at the Blues. So what's been the secret for you? What were the things that you put in place to help make this team successful? Uh, I think there's a lot of things obviously you have to get right to, to do well. Um, and I suppose having, having really good mentors, I had DP from Daniel. Darren Perry. Deep, yep. Uh, Steve Blackley and also Mikey, being involved with Mikey in the Siebel team the last two seasons has been fantastic. So learning from, from those guys and picking up, you know, picking their brains and using a lot of things that I've learned from them has been a, a massive part to having the success we've had so far. So you've been able to build a foundation very quickly. Look, if uh, another coach coming on board looking to make this step, what's the advice you would give them? What are the, the key building blocks to put in place? Uh, I think having clear clear structure and clear instructions for each player within that structure and knowing knowing what their, all their roles are is really important. Um, it also helps having players that can actually execute what you need them to. Um, and obviously that's something we looked at at tryouts with the players that could really listen and follow instructions, which was going to be an obviously an important part to, to having the success we've had. So take us through the tournament. First game, who was that against? Uh, first game was against Hills Hornets um, from New South Wales. And they had a, an absolute giant playing for them. She was um, about six foot two. Wow. She was massive. Um, and we got off to a slow start, as we did in almost every game. We were chasing, um, and um, we managed to, to run over them quite easily in the end um, after after that slow start. So, any standouts in that game? Um, uh, I don't think we had really any standouts during the tournament. Um, there was probably one or two in different games. Um, probably not in that game. It was just a really good team effort. The ball moved really well. They defended really well. Put a lot of pressure on the the smaller guards and, and got up the floor a lot and put them under pressure. And the second game? The second game was against North Adelaide. Um, we had um, a really nice ankle breaker in that game. I knew got a nice little uh, inside out dribble move, put someone on their backside, so that was um, Sorry, a highlight. Who made that move? On your step, it was a great little inside out and um, we all got a bit of a, bit of a giggle out of that. Yeah. It was um, quite entertaining. Um, but yeah, just again, like most of the games, we started from behind and um, they seemed to like coming from behind this group and, and chasing down leads. Um, they, they've done it probably five or six times so far and um, yeah, I think it, it upsets a lot of teams because they think they have it in the bag and we have a, we have a really good group that just fight back and, and like to win. So. And so the third game you had to win to make sure you got into the semi-finals. Tell us about that one. Yes, we were up against um, Melbourne Tigers who we had played twice before uh, and previously beaten them by 22 in our VC games, in our grading games. Um, so we were pretty confident we could beat them, which we ended up doing. Um, and um, probably um, Gemma Reynolds probably out, stood out in that game. She was um, her ability to get to the basket and finish really strongly, did it, um, did it well to help us get that win. And then to the semi-finals against Knox, I hear that was a bit of a heartbreaker. Yeah, um, it was a tough, 
tough game. It was really good to um, get to coach against someone I'd watched play in the NBL, Matt Shanahan. It was awesome to coach against him. A um, little bit starstruck probably a bit for that <laughs> yeah. for me. Um, but um, it was awesome to coach against someone like that. And um, yeah, late in the game, it was about 30 seconds ago, and we probably got a 50-50 dodgy charge call. And um, that would have put us up by one point, probably put us on a foul line as well if we'd have got the foul call. Um, so it was disappointing to lose that way, but um, yeah, unfortunately we didn't get that one. And so then you had to regroup pretty quickly, take on Nunna Wadding in the bronze medal game. How did that one play out? Yeah, we were, we were as coaches, myself and my, my assistant coach, who was also my brother Craig, he, um, we were pretty confident we could beat Nunna Wadding. Um, we played them previously and they'd beaten us by, I think it was 33 points early in BC, wow. round one. Um, but we were confident we could beat them because we'd had a lot of kids that had extra things on that week. They were tired, um, flat, and we knew that their press was how they were going to try and beat us. So we were pretty well prepared and um, ended up beating them by 14 in the end. So pretty big turnaround, which we, we were happy with that turnaround. It's a massive, massive change. Fantastic. And a great achievement for your girls, for yourself, for Craig, and for the Frankston Blues as well. So